All right, guys, Go Boy 32 here, check it out. So I'm sitting in my new surroundings, kind of interesting, but uh, did a lot of traveling yesterday. But one of the videos we did, I put a little Instagram video out last night, was me testing the 300 Blackout build that I did a little while ago. Uh, this is a great build, <laughs> honestly, man. Uh, the the uh, lower parts kit and the SBA3 brace from uh, Palmetto State Armory. And then I purchased the rest of the parts from Primary Arms with the uh, 10 and a half inch ballistics advantage barrel with the one in seven twist. Let me make that correction now because in the video I said it's a one in 10, but it is a one in seven. Um, using the 110 grain uh, VMAX from Hornady, the Hornady Black, a uh, good friend of mine, Ethan, and I mentioned his name a couple times in the video. So, But the only reason I do is because he's not so much a corporate sponsor, but actually a really good guy and is becoming a very good friend of mine. Um, in addition to that, we're also testing from Primary Arms the 3 tons prism scope that's set up for the 762 by 39 which you saw the video of me shooting the AK with that. But on this one, we took it out to 600 yards. Uh, interesting to take a 10 and a half inch barrel out that far. Uh, we were very fortunate. I didn't think in the video earlier, I watched it last night as I was processing, I didn't even think I came close to the 400 yard mark I did. I didn't bother putting the camera on the 5. So here's the video. Check it out, I'll be right back. Well, folks, I think that's pretty damn close. So why don't we just leave it there. I'm gonna go ahead and toy around with some other targets to see how we're looking. Uh, got a good idea where this thing's supposed to hit when it goes out to the 400, 500, to 600. Went to the range clears up. I'm gonna start shooting at some steel here. See if we can hit that 300 gong up there. All right, so the first target we're going to go after is the, the 300. And that's the single right there. So we're going to be using the ACSS reticle right here. And again, we're shooting these guys right here at a 300 blackout. These are the 110 grain Hornady VMAX. They're shooting at approximately 2250 feet per second out of this 10 and a half inch one in. Oh, I think one in ten twist uh, ballistics advantage barrel. Let's ask you real. Here we go. <laughs> Over the top of it. Let's just go ahead, right dead center. One more time. A little bit of swirly wind out there. I don't expect that should affect it too much. Fell off the left side of it. Here we go. Hit to the left side. <laughs> Which way is my wind going? Can't tell. Okay, so let's go ahead and transition from the 300 up to the 400. We got the twins up there. Okay. Uh, now I can see what we're doing here. Here we go. A little low. Let's go ahead and hold dead center just for shits. Couldn't tell. Alright, reload. I want to thank Ethan Manning today at Manning & Sons for providing the ammo for this little test. This stuff's not cheap. So I really appreciate it, Ethan. If you guys take a look, I'm going to put his link to his YouTube channel down below. He's a real cool dude. Got a really nice dealership up there in Illinois. All right, here we go again. 400 yards. Wow, it's like dropping out of the sky. 400. Yeah. A little shy. Let's hold to the top. Tell where it's hitting. Right side. No idea. Let's go back to the 300. One more time. Okay. I'm going to take it out. 300, 400, 500, 600. No 
that was six. I can't tell. Alright, so what we're going to do next, we'll go ahead and uh, take our cameras up there to the uh, five and six hundred. But I'll tell you what, man, I'm having a ball with this. All right, so here we are, man. This is the 600 yards. Well, for a 10 and a half inch barrel, 300 blackout, 110 grain, punching out at 2,250 feet per second. Well, that's uh, it's doable, not without a problem. I think that uh, according to the calculations uh, with the ACS reticle at the 600, we're going to probably be about 18 inches, 12 to 18 inches. Uh, low for the reticle uh, just because man that's a long way to punch and that reticle's not set up for a ten and a half inch barrel but uh, again we're going to go ahead and put this on uh, there we go we're recording. Uh, pretty busy out here today which is the reason why I am in a rush and uh, uh, father and son crew over here having a good time and I don't want to interrupt their fun but uh, anyway here we go man 24 inch gong at 600 yards with a ten and a half inch barrel using the 300 blackout 110 grain V max from one of the, here we go, stand by. All right, like I said earlier, man, we're gonna go out to that 600, there's a 24 inch dome in there. Uh, looked like we were hitting pretty well low on those uh, 12 inch pieces of steel at 400. So we're just gonna play around at six and see how this thing rolls. And again, like I said, this is really a little bit outside the parameters for the SCSS reticle, but, and this barrel, and this round. But we're going to see if we can hit it. I've got a camera up there. There we go. guys that was a lot of fun and those were uncut uh, I want you guys to see the miss and, it, and it's this is not a thing to sit here and prove that these packages can do that but it's me trying to test the platform as a whole could we've done better yeah we probably can will you see more videos coming out absolutely because we're probably going to start testing the one to six Raptor on that platform I'm going to rotate that three times prism scope back over to the AK-47 which is a really good deal so anyway I hope you guys liked the video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already done so uh, let me know what you guys would like to see in the upcoming future uh, this is a lot of fun I'm thinking the 6.5 uh, Grendel and uh, that's about it it's Cutterboy 32 support red white blue God bless America God bless men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom freedom is not free it's Cutterboy 32